بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد وعلى محمد السلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى اهل بيتك الطيبين الطاهرين السلام عليك يا علي الهادي السلام عليك يا حسن العسكري السلام عليك يا مولاي يا صاحب العصر والزمان I really would like to thank my brother Haj Ammar who gave us the opportunity to visit the holy city of Samarra, the city of Ahlul Bayt the city that will stay for Ahlul Bayt, that belongs to Ahlul Bayt. Imam Al Hujjah was born in this city, this holy city. It's the city of Imam Al Mahdi the dawn of his father and grandfather and his mother Narjis Khatun and his aunt Hakima. The basement of occultation. This is the city of Ahlul Bayt No matter what whoever thinks about that. We have an narration from Imam Al Askari The Imam Salamullah praised each one of Ma'sumin, starting from Rasulullah and ending with Imam Al Mahdi. He starts with Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin kama hamala wahyak wa ballaga wahyak allama halalaka wa haramak Oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praise Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who spread your revelations who spread the halal and haram and then he mentions Ali ibn Abi Talib and then Lady Fatima the martyr and then Imam Hassan Imam Hussain and then Nine sons of Imam Al Hassan or Imam Al Hussein, Salatullah wa Salam, ending by Imam Al Mahdi. When he reached his name, he stopped. The narrator used to write down that salawat, and the narrator just raised his hand. What happened? Why you stopped? And Imam said that if it wasn't that, we have to introduce ourselves to you so you can know us as Hujjatullah, I will stop here because now I have to tell you how you have to praise Imam Hassan al Askar. And then he said, but what should we do that? Our obligations is to introduce ourselves to you so you can know us, so we can grab your hand, so we can take you to heaven with us, so we can guide you. So he praised Imam Hassan al Askar himself with a few sentences and then went to Imam al-Mahdi and praised Imam al-Mahdi, his son, with more sentences. I really advise you to start to read that uh, actually narration because it is a unique one. When we find some unique sentences, such as when we come to Imam Sadiq alayhi salam, وصلي على الصادق, Lisani Tawheedik, the tongue of your Tawheed, the tongue that talked about uh, and proved your oneness. Lisani Tawheedik. And this is very sensitive and important because I've heard actually some ignorance saying that we even don't have a single narration from Imam Sadiq which can prove the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why we have to go to philosophers. And how ridiculous this, this actually uh, saying is. Because when we go to Imam al Hassan al-Askari, we see that Imam al Hassan al-Askari is targeting this idea by saying that Imam al-Sadiq is lisana tawheed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I strongly advise you brothers and sisters to recite that and it's right after Ziyarat al-Jama'a al-Kabira which we talked about and we actually um, encouraged you to recite that. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hasten the reappearance of our beloved Imam Imam al-Mahdi alayhi salam. Hada wa alaykum wa rahmatullah.